Well, we're on to 4.2, given a scenario, maintain efficient operation of a cloud environment. This is part of 4.0, operations and support, which is 22% of the CompTIA Cloud Plus exam. So let's get started. So operation, confirm completion of backups. So uh, if, if you if your backup doesn't complete, there's no way it's going, well, it's probably not gonna work that well. Um, so it's good to make sure that they have completed. Uh, we'll get into an even more important step a little later. Lifecycle management. So what's the roadmaps, the old, the current, the new version of operation. So what about upgrading and migrating systems? Uh, what is the steps you go through? How do you do it? What about things that are end of life? Especially when they're in the cloud. If they're local and no one else can hit them at all, uh, it's it's one thing. But if they're in the cloud, you still can lock it down partially. But it's be really careful running things that are end of life, even if they're local. Um, it's just not a good idea. There's a reason why they call it end of life. Change in access man management. What's your change man management? Uh, what's the process that things go through? Um, who approves changes? Uh, is it a body? Is it a, is it a person? Uh, is it different depending on what application is being changed? Um, what about as asset management? How do you keep track of things um, with those assets? Do you know which ones are end of life? What, ne what needs to be replaced? Um, what are the challenges with your assets? Uh, are, are they breaking down? How long should they last? When, they, when do they need to be replaced? Patching. So are, you, are the patches for features or enhancements? Um, are they to fix broken or critical infrastructure applications? Um, do you know how to roll back? Uh, what are the policies? And is there a N minus one? What production used to look like? Um, so scope of cloud elements to be patched. So you have, when you're talking about patching, what are you patching? Are you patching the hypervisor or the VMs? So uh, once again, if you don't know what some of these terms are, you might want to look them up. So the hypervisor, there's two types of hypervisors, type one and type two. Um, type one uh, sits on bare metal, I believe. Type two is installed on top of an OS. So a type one hypervisor would be something like ESX. Uh, and a type two would be something like Oracle VirtualBox or VMware Player. Uh, the VMs, are you patching the VMs? So are you, are you attaching, uh, patching the, the virtual machines that are on top of the hypervisor? What about appliances, virtual appliances? Some people forget that they need to be patched, updated, maintained. Uh, some of these appliances are auto patching. Do you understand how that works? Um, sometimes it doesn't work. So how are you keeping track that it's actually getting its auto patches? So networking components, how are you patching your networking devices? So switches, routers, um, access points, what about applications? So applications have vulnerabilities as well, especially server side applications, but even client side ones. Um, talking about an application that you should really worry about that most people don't think about. What about the browser? If there's a, a vulnerability in the browser people are using because they're using old ones, that's a problem. Um, but when you're running a, a web server, applications that are that are being ran by it, you need to make sure you know um that they're patched they're secure they have the secure versions of things running what about your storage components your disk what about the firmware of your disk of your of your system other software so and of course the operating system linux windows unix mac uh, are you patching them are they staying up to date? How often do you patch them? So are you patching them regularly enough? Good question. So efficient operation. So what are the impacts of process improvements on your system? 
So when something gets improved, does it cause lots of headaches? Uh, I know a lot of people like to patch over the weekends because more people are gone. And then they talk about how Monday's horrible because nothing works. Um, that's not because patching's bad. It's because probably you need to improve how you're doing that and checking to make sure it's good. What upgrade method are you using? Are you rolling them? Are they blue green canary active passive, um, development, QA production and disaster recovery? Uh, so what, what are the methods you use to do your upgrades? And it probably, you probably have multiple of these at a decent size organization because some applications you can do rolling up to grades. Others, probably not. So dashboards and reporting. So are your alerts tagged so they're showing, so you're getting good uh, visualization for the people watching those. Um, do you know what is being, what's racking up the, the cost uh, so that you can identify what you should spend some time on to save money, for example. Uh, what about what's, what's using more resources? What's growing and expanding? Are they reaching limits? Uh, it, with connectivity, is the connectivity there, does it disappear sometimes? And if it disappears, do you know? Or what about, is it just slow sometimes? And does that cause you problems? Is it slow from certain areas? Is there, is there something you need to do there? Where are your capacity bottlenecks? Um, that's a hard one. Um, cause oftentimes what you see is, is I'll give you an example. Um, CPU usage in Linux goes bonker in, in windows as well. goes up to hundred percent pretty easy if you have disc latency issues. So it's the disc that's the issue, but most people see it in CPU because they're not monitoring the disc as closely as they monitor the CPU. So how do you deal with incidents or health alerts? Um, how do you report those? Uh, what about overall utilization? And finally on dashboard reporting, what about availability? Is it actually up and working? So how are you reporting that on your dashboard? So anyway, See you in the next video. Oh, and I did it again. So I'm going to hold off. We did 4.2 on CompTIA's exam objectives. So we'll see you in the next video now. Thank you.